So by now, I'm sure that most of my audience is kind of tired of these Caitlyn Jenner gubernatorial run stories, especially considering that she barely got 1% of the vote. But I want to talk about this story because it's just one of those stories that I enjoy so much for no particular reason. Maybe it's schadenfreude. Maybe it's just that I, I like seeing dumb people get proven wrong when things are pretty obvious. Either way, she basically explains that she had a lot of meetings with Republican politicians, and many of them did not want to be seen publicly with her. They were embarrassed of her. Hmm, I wonder why. Why would Republicans who are transphobic not want to meet with somebody who's transgender? I wonder why. Even if she's a Republican, perhaps it's because they're bigots. But either way, uh, what she says is... Uh, it's fascinating to me, to say the least. So LGBTQ Nation reports, Caitlyn Jenner said that during her failed California gubernatorial campaign, some Republican Party leaders and elected GOP officials refused to be seen in public with her, despite supporting her in private. I had elected officials and party leaders who would gladly take private meetings with my campaign team and me, but would balk at the mere notion of being seen publicly with me, Jenner wrote in a recent USA Today column. She would have been the first transgender governor in the United States had she won. To a point, I understand they have to protect themselves from their voters and base who might not be as open-minded as they are, she explained, noting that the problem for someone like myself is partly generational. But leadership means standing up for what is right, and if you thank me privately for running for office, you should be able to do it publicly. Despite association with her being treated like a dirty secret, Jenner assures readers that she is still a Republican and will fight for inclusivity in the Republican Party. That's gonna go well. She even complains that coming out as a Republican was more difficult than coming out as transgender. So I just love that even as she explains to all of us how Republicans were literally embarrassed to be seen with her in public, even if they privately supported her, she's still a Republican. She's still loyal to the party. She still is making sure that that Republican victim narrative is, is a thing. No, it's, it's harder for me to come out as a Republican than it is to come out as transgender. Is it, though? Is it, though? Really? Okay, maybe that's true in her case because she is a multimillionaire and she's older and she's not living with her parents who, you know, you may rely on for housing, as is the case with trans youth. But I, I just, we're to a point where I can't do anything but laugh at this. What did you expect, Caitlin? What did you expect? This is a classic leopards ate my face situation where somebody was totally surprised that a leopard ate their face after they voted for the leopards eating people's faces party. I just, I don't understand how you would expect something like this. It's like you are running as a Democrat and your, your number one thing is that you want to ban abortions. The party kind of is against that. So what are you trying to do here? I mean, perhaps when it comes to economic issues, she is conservative because she's rich and she's looking out for her own self-interest. But still, I mean, you can't pretend to be surprised that this transphobic party that made it their mission, especially in 2021, to demonize trans youth, they're against you. How is that surprising to you? This party has always been bigoted. This, this party has always used social issues and culture war issues to get elected. They offer voters nothing. So what do they do? They prey on people's bigotry. They prey on racism and xenophobia and transphobia and homophobia. That's what they do. They've been doing this forever. So for you to be shocked, to have a surprised Pikachu face when they're like, mm, I don't want to be seen with you in public, what did you expect, Caitlin? What did you expect? Jesus Christ. She's like a less self-aware version of Blair White. It, it's just, it, she's insufferable. Now, to make matters worse, I want to remind everyone that it's not just that she was transgender as part of the reason why she lost and didn't even barely reach 1%, or she did, but she barely got 1%. Either way, 
Remember how bad her campaign was, and that also tells you a little bit about why she wasn't successful. So during her campaign, she pulled at 6% for public support, lied about not voting for Trump in the 2020 election, had an inconsistent stance on COVID-19 mask wearing, complained about seeing homeless people in the streets, expressed some support for Texas's bounty hunting anti-abortion law, left her campaign to go record a reality show in Australia, and ended up having to fund her own impoverished campaign. I mean, you might think that she's just a really bad candidate, but I'm sure she'll use the footage that she shot from her campaign to make some reality show. She might already have a reality show that I'm unaware of. Maybe it's like in its ninth season. I don't know. But uh, she's just so insufferable, so clueless, so insufferable. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. So, I mean, when she says things like this, yeah, I can't believe that the Republican Party is transphobic. They literally chased you out of CPAC, chanting transphobic bullshit at you. This party doesn't want you, Caitlyn Jenner. So you have to choose. Do you actually care about transgender Americans and their suffering and the bigotry perpetuated by the party that you identify with? Or do you care about your own personal wealth? So what do you care more about? Class solidarity or solidarity with the LGBTQ plus community? Well, I think that she's already made that decision. She's already stated her position loud and clear. So now she shouldn't be surprised when her party rejects her because they're against you. They don't support you having the freedom to be you. They're against you. They're bigots. This is kind of obvious. So don't be surprised when they treat you like shit.